Hello everybody and welcome to a new video, my name is Midway and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I'm here to bring you some more Legend of Mushroom and in this case it's gonna be some tips on how to progress fast in this game, how to make the best of your resources in order to just speed up the whole process of you getting stronger quicker. So first of all, let's just go to the, uh, the Shroomy farm. So first tip is going to be to um, always try and buy um, a couple of these a day, about five of each fertilizer is going to net you a decent price. But as you can see, as you increase this farther and farther, the price is going to scale a whole lot, right? So buying for three or four, even five a day is going to give you a whole lot of value. Of course, fertilizers are used to speed up the process of the, um, the seeds gathering. You can also try and buy seeds. These seeds will also always be of the uh, epic quality, the purple quality, right? So again, trying to buy about five a day is going to net you pretty damn good um, speed up process here when it comes to accumulating those offers then you can speed up as well your statue progress now always just try and grow the highest tier seeds and fertilize them as much as possible you can of course um, well I got some going on here so I might as well go ahead and do that but also you should definitely be trying to get those free fertilizers from watching the ads of course watch all the ads you can if you're purchasing the ad skip that's gonna make your life a lot easier when it comes to this so of course use all your fertilizers daily at least the the blue tier ones so you can claim those from the ads and therefore you can make your um, your fertilizing process your growing process of the seeds a lot quicker that really really makes a big difference when it comes to just progressing as i said on the garden side of things as well as on your prayer statue now another stuff is going to be to um, just try and build through your research process in the right order. That means try and go for whatever is going to net you the most resources overall. Of course, you want everything, but sometimes going for stuff that's going to be, for example, extra damage or extra defenses really looks a lot juicier than, for example, just more ore or more, um, or it's more what you call pickaxes uh, per hour, really. But those things are going to net you a lot higher progress whenever you're getting more resources out of the game that when you are just getting a little bit extra damage of course extra damage will mean that you are stronger at the current time but you want to just accelerate your progress as, as fast as possible that also goes for things like for example um the extra resources when afk there's gonna be several of these nodes like for example this one right here getting that is gonna increase the amount of resources you get while afk that definitely speeds up the whole process as i mentioned of getting resources it also goes for this one right here so those usually cost a whole lot more resources but they're definitely worth going for as soon as you can simply because it's going to speed up the process of getting resources and therefore speed up the process of getting stronger now another thing that's going to be decently special is going to be to try and buy uh, a couple of these tickets a day for the pvp challenges now that also applies in the same nature as the seeds and the fertilizers the more you buy the more costly they're going to be but using those challenges is going to allow you to get more resources out of that as well as place higher on the pvp brackets um the higher you go you will also get more resources daily so that is pretty damn important of course at some point you will not be able to really um go uh, climb any higher based on your power level but if you are still winning and you can afford to buy some of these tickets doing so will also speed up your growth now of course if you are struggling to find anything you might actually be able to kill just try and refresh a couple times you can refresh infinitely there is no penalty to it like in some of the games just try and find somebody you know you're going to be able to defeat you can also try and go into the profile and do a practice session first just if you're wondering oh can i actually beat this guy well just try it first and then well if you actually win you have a chance to actually do it in a proper pvp battle right so um while we are losing this let me just tell you, of course, using higher tier gear is always going to be better, um, especially uh, later on in the stages. Once you are in the blue, green, purple stuff, right, the higher tier is, of course, going to be a step up, but sometimes it's not going to be that big of a step up, and therefore you might be able to think a little bit about the bonuses of the gear. But once you get to stuff like, for example, red, uh, pink, or rainbow, once you get a higher tier, it's just such a big upgrade that uh, it's really going to be very, very, very hard to know not make an excuse to upgrade that tier now usually that's just a rule of thumb higher tiers is going to be better and after the higher tier then you can start thinking of what stats you want but there is some very niche scenarios where stats will actually be a little bit more meaningful than the actual upgrade in very very particular cases but for the most part and as a rule of thumb just go for a higher tier of gear right so um 
sometimes, yeah, of course, thinking about the right stats will be important, as I mentioned, but unless you are at a point where you already know what you're going for, depending on what class you're playing, and you really have a choice once you get similar or same gear, uh, tier gear, um, really the stats shouldn't be that big of a deal early early on as you get to level 70 80 your progress is going to slow down so thinking about stats do i want more skill crit do i want more crit if you're going mage you might want more skill crit more skill um, damage uh, overall but otherwise for the most part you just go for the higher tier piece now another thing is going to be your prayer statue if you are also making good progress on the farm your prayer statue is going to be something you are investing into over time so try and already think for what you're going for if you're getting some good stuff like for example you know what stats you really kind of want so more boss damage is always going to be very good but if you are really already knowledgeable on what stats are good for your class and try and go for those for example i am playing an archer so i'm trying to go for crit damage bonus try and already stack those up but early on i would recommend just speed run through it get to a statue level three four um as you unlock all the slots also will get your chances of getting higher tier um, affixes as they called um, that's also going to be always the better choice here getting the higher tier affixes will be a better choice than just getting the lower ones and you first need to level up your statue so you can't really focus on getting the right uh, affixes early on you also need to just invest early on to get that level going higher now a thing that i didn't know myself early on and i realized a couple days later after the statue came out is that even if the cost of uh, the prayer is uh, higher because you're locking in choices, uh, whatever the cost is, is going to be added up to the uh, progress of the statue. So you don't have to worry about spending more. Um, that's straight up always going to be counted no matter how much you're spending, whether that is 900, 600 or whatever. As much as you're spending, that's always going to be into the, going into the progress of the statue. There is no problem there, right? So another thing about that is think about what class you want, want, you try, you want to be going for in the future early on mage is going to be, be, the, be the better choice for the leveling process because it's just going to give you a better progression path and curve of power as you get better tier skills better tier pals mage does a pretty good use of the um, the damage for your skills right and skills will be very very meaningful early on now once you get to level 100 or so let me actually show you the skills for the mage but once you get to level 100 the choice will definitely broaden up a lot more a lot of people are going archer just like myself but as i mentioned early on going with a spellcaster mage is going to give you a lot of that good damage skill crit attack increase skill crit damage and extra skill damage dealt to targets below 50 percent so that's a lot of flat damage just straight up coming from those uh, passive skills some of the choices don't have that much good stuff you need to you rely on stats for example here the the combo stuff uh, innovation attack speed of attack speed is definitely nice but uh, yeah other options from other <laughs> my cat is trying to get my attention early on on those other classes will not be as meaningful when especially when it comes to just getting damage for example you will get defense here on the warrior side of things right so you really want to be getting a lot of damage early on and make is going to give you that choice other classes down the line especially level 100 will be a lot more uh, of a better choice especially archer and warrior depending on what you're trying to focus on but it always depends on your power level if you're really damn strong <clears throat> everything works in this game really so um another thing you should be trying to focus on is experiment with skills and pulse read through everything um, not everything is just about clicking the quick equip button pulse have very unique effects a lot of them combined together with the right class can do a whole lot more damage than just clicking quick equip as well as for skills as i mentioned mage does a very good use of skills because of the skill damage but um, unless you are just leveling up and just trying to get to the higher tier skills which will always have a lot more damage on the percentage side of things right the percentage value of those skills will be a whole lot higher on the higher tier skills unless you are on that scenario still leveling up and just playing a mage and clicking quick equip that's fine but down the line you will want to think a lot more about those choices the effects will become a lot more impactful like stuns and attack speed reduction um, attack reduction all that good stuff so it's not just about straight up doing damage with the skills they have effects you should know about should look about uh, should, should be looking at them and should be planning on maybe what do i want what's good for this what's good for that obviously you can just look at guides and that's going to make your life a lot easier if you're playing a very specific thing or are planning to play something else in the future right so more stuff 
if you are not able to beat something in the dungeon just sweep it i've been doing that for a little while just go ahead and i cannot show you but of course you can just click the sweep function and that's going to give you the rewards immediately you don't have to actually play the dungeon and if you are struggling for example on the molten ruins or in the chrono tower um just straight up sweep it always try and beat the next level because it's going to give you higher amount of rewards but if you don't have time and you're struggling because you don't find the right hours to do it just sweep through stuff getting it done is better than failing and just leaving it there make sure that you are consuming everything on the side of the dungeons something else is going to be the blazing cave make sure you do your blazing cave every time um, there's really no other reason to just keep that thing waiting it gives you a lot of coins coins are going to be really damn important to progress through your um, your lamp the lamp is going to be a big bottleneck in getting better tiers of gear and there's really not that many ways of getting coins besides just spending a bunch of gems on them and the value for coins with gems is not the best i would rather use the gems onto the stuff to upgrade your mount really i got a video on that as well so yeah try and get that stuff done the uh, the dungeon and also always try and help every family member you can out it's gonna give you the family coins which you can then use to buy stuff from the family shop and also try and always donate every single time it's also gonna give you a whole lot of rewards as well as of course help your family those rewards will include the um, the family coins that then you will be able to use here on the family shop now i try to always buy in the family shop the lamps lamps are scarce to come by eventually you will just be really struggling for them so i try to always use my family coins to buy lamps lamps are the main way you get gold they are the main way you get gear or the only way you get gear really so you should try and get those lamps rolling as many lamps as you can and doing so by buying them from the shop is a really good way of course also you only get xp from the lamps and therefore i think you might also get from afk but really the main source is the lamps so as many lamps as you can buy the better now always try to participate on the guild boss daily at least sign up for it that's even though you are not within the actual fight online at the time if you do sign up you will participate in it and you will get the rewards for it right so those rewards will be pretty damn juicy will also include coins for the family shop as well as gold and such so doing those always pretty damn important just sign up and will help as well onto your your whole family um yeah um, i don't think i got much more stuff i've kind of gone through everything i had on my list uh, of course doing the mine daily and just trying to not waste any uh, pickaxes is going to be pretty damn important uh, the better value you can get out of mining the better progress you're going to be making on your research and that's also going to be pretty damn important to speed up your process of getting strong auto mining is a pretty good way, a way of just doing this for you if you've purchased the uh, pass in order to unlock auto mining before you get to depth 10,000, then that's a pretty good way of just doing that almost immediately but you can also try and claim all those free pickaxes bombs and drills if you make use of them i sometimes forget about the free drills and bombs but if you do use them and then you get to the point where you have none you then will be able to claim extra by watching ads so make sure you do that and get as much value out of the ads side of things now if there's any event active just like this one try and participate in it it's also going to give you rewards as well as whenever the event finishes so that's also pretty damn strong any active events will also come in handy in order to get extra stuff for example this one going on right now well there's really no point to progress unless you're paying once you get to a certain point on this one but trying to get the max out of these events of course will also be a requisite a requirement um as well as trying to keep up with the soul trial every day there will be more levels of the soul trial a bay level the, the difficulty of the soul trial is going to be lowered as you go through the levels that is of course if you're reaching the point where the difficulty is increased by a whole lot but yeah you don't lose anything for trying so you can also keep trying onto this as many times as you can progressing here will allow you to keep buying those souls and the soul system gives you a whole lot of money so if you got unlucky on a try you got hit too many times you didn't evade the right times or you just didn't get enough crits right just try again and might maybe you just will just get the win there and that will definitely be um, a dub right so also claim of course all your rfk rewards try and use those speed up bonuses really does help out and uh, yeah at this point i think i don't have anything else for you hopefully you enjoyed that it was pretty damn long 
Damn, I think I blocked my phone. Yeah, sure. You just give me a sec. There we go. Yeah, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Now, if you got any questions, please don't down below any more um, things that you might think will help out new players level up or just in general speed up your leveling process. Let me know down in the description and might help other players out. Now, if you're not using Aptoid yet, you should definitely do so. Check it out. Got links, all of that good stuff down in the description. Aptoid allows you to get more value for your money whenever making purchases in any mobile game on Android devices as well as an emulator on your PC. Basically, whenever you buy something in the game, you're going to be getting extra bonus coins which then you can use to make purchases instead of using your real money you accumulate up to a 35 percent extra bonus for any purchase you make starting from 10 percent of course if you use my code down below it's going to give you a flat increase of extra five percent there's also active events running at certain times which will increase that bonus even further so yeah get an app to it really going to increase the value for your money if you're spending in any capacity in any of these games like for example legend of mushroom it's really damn handy for me and i sure enjoyed it for a little while so yeah hopefully you do join me on that and uh, you enjoy this video like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye bye see you